Yo, what's up guys? The most underrated MLB team so far in this MLB season is the Chicago Cubs, in my opinion, based on what I've seen. Because I'm a little bit of a Cubs fan, but I've always looked out for them. And especially when they had Anthony Rizzo and Baez. But so far this season, they've looked pretty good, especially as of late. They've been getting their act together. Seiya Suzuki has been playing so much better. He's batting like 380. He's most of, of a singles hitter. So he just makes sure to get on base. He, he's not a big home run hitter, but he can do it sometimes. Ian Happ, of course, he, he can hit some home runs. He had a multi-homer game, which was awesome to see. Then the, the big Cubs player that I think the Cubs fans have to watch out for, which I think he could be a big potential star in the making, is Pete Crow Armstrong. That man is super fast in center field. One of the best defending outfielders so far in this season. He makes sure to stop any runs that come comes in. And many balls that are hit in the, those gaps, Pete Armstrong is going to make sure to get to those. Because he's so speedy, so fast. He makes sure not let any balls fly past him. And he's very smart for his age. He's only like 22. But I mean, as, as he's been playing, he's been getting smarter and more experienced and better so far. Well, I think the second half of the season is going to be more improvement in the step forward for Pete Crow Armstrong. Make sure to say it's okay. Yeah, I don't days. know if anybody ever... I like to look at the statistics more recently. They're interesting that way too because usually the averages are higher or they could be lower in a short statistical span. But he was batting like 180 for the whole season, 227 for the last seven days. So we'll see what Pete Crow Armstrong can do. For the rest of the season defender and fast he's the only person i've ever seen use his helmet to stay safe at second base and he slid to second and he took his helmet off he should have put it right on the bag and that was marked safe right there but for the cubs pitching it looks pretty wary at times i mean their starting pitching is i would say it's quality and they just make sure you get time up their pitches hidden in the right location because Javier Assad he's a very smart pitcher he's like he always looked pretty smart when he comes to the mound but he has excellent location so he could try to keep that up he doesn't have a great ERA this season but he, he can surely come back from that Justin Steele been amazing for the the Cubs and Shota Menga their new pitcher he's looked pretty good so far he's had a couple games where he loses control especially against the Mets he gave up 10 runs in that game well, I think that was May 7th May 17th I believe but yeah his timing wasn't on point he wasn't in the zone and when you're a pitcher you got to make sure to stay locked in all the time or right? else if you're not locked in for a second you can lose that moto lose that focus dedication and you just give up a whole bunch of runs so the uh, Cubs pitching could be a little better, but especially for the relief pitching, that relief pitching needs to step up. If they could get some better relief pitching, maybe like just out of the minor leagues or out, out of free agency. So, so far, their, uh, their Cubs relief pitching has been the biggest problem so far. Wes Neski, he hasn't been that great. He gives up a lot of runs sometimes. And Little, he, he's okay, but he's not all that. They don't have an excellent closer. They usually go with Hector Neris, which he isn't bad. Don't think I forgot about Michael Bush and Dansby Swanson. They've been lighting it up as of late, hitting the bat so much better than they did previously. Michael Bush is a good Cubs first baseman. Well, let me know what you guys think is the most underrated MLB team this in the season so far. I believe it's the uh, Chicago Cubs, hometown of Wrigley Field. They got some young stars in the making. And they have a lot of potential to make some headway for the rest of this MLB season. They're a little behind 500 win percentage, but they could get it back up. Even though they lost that doubleheader against St. Louis, I, I believe they could go on a long winning streak. They could keep their heads out, held up high, and Pete Crow Armstrong could keep showing his high potential. But I'll see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe. I Niggas thought they had the swag, but I'm really on it. Look at you.